This is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today we're gonna to talk about how to check the status of a registered trademark or a trademark application in the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So in the United States Patent and Trademark Office, a trademark is not automatically granted. You have to apply for a trademark and it goes through a process that can take at least six months, if not a year or multiple years before you actually get a registered trademark. During that time period, you're gonna need to check the status of your application. That's true if you're the person applying for the trademark if you're someone researching whether or not someone else has a trademark, you wanna know what the status is. Or if you already have a registered trademark and you wanna keep up on the sta status of your registered trademark because it doesn't just last forever unless you maintain it. So how do you actually check the status of a trademark? This here is the Trademark Electronic Search System test. So let's say you don't remember what the trademark number is that you're looking for, the application serial number or the registration number, or you don't know what that is because it's not your trademark. Here's how you would search for that. There are different search options and going over the details is something I'll do in another video. But let's just look at basic, the basic search. Let's search for all of Nike's trademarks and there's a lot of them. So it'll give us some good examples. When you get the 300 or <laughs> the 168 Nike and Nike related trademark applications and registrations, here you see the serial number, registration number, the mark we're talking about, and then this check status link. This is what you wanna click on. So let's look at, this is the last trademark that Nike got which is just over Nike, let's click on TSDR and see what comes up. This is gonna open a different database called the Trademark Status and Document Retrieval, TSDR. Here, we have all kinds of information about this trademark. This trademark has registered. So if you go down here, it says status, registered, and then it has this little um, symbol here and that's the registration symbol for a trademark. So that's how you find the status on any trademark or trademark application. If we go back here and we look at one that's just an application that hasn't registered yet, I'm gonna click on the TSDR. In this one, we have a different status. It's still being examined. That's why it has a file with a little magnifying glass. And the status is a first request for extension of time to file a statement of use has been granted. So what that means is, is this trademark was applied for before they actually were using this phrase in conjunction with the sale of a product or service. But to actually get the registered trademark, you have to start using it. So it's, this has been approved, it's been accepted by the office, but they haven't actually filed their statement of use proving up that they're using it. For this particular trademark, it's over products, so sports bags, footwear, things like that. So they're gonna have to probably have a photo that shows that the phrase is either on the product itself or it's on some kind of tag or label. So how often do you need to check the status of a trademark application or registered trademark? If you have an application that is pending before the United States Patent and Trademark Office, you wanna check the status at least every six months. I actually check the status monthly for all my pending applications for my clients. And if you have a registered trademark, you probably wanna check the status every six months, if not every year. Here's why. For a trademark application, there are deadlines that are very strict. And you wanna know if you just had, didn't get a communication from the Patent and Trademark Office and you're gonna miss a deadline. A lot of these deadlines are six month deadlines, but some of them are different. 
so the idea is if you check it at least three months, you're not going to miss one of those six month deadlines. Now for registered trademarks, you still have deadlines too. At five years and 10 years and going on forward, you have to prove up that you're still using your trademark. And if you miss that deadline, there's actually a couple deadlines, but if you miss that deadline, then your trademark is canceled. So what are all the different statuses that are possible? Well, there's a lot. Here's all the different icons. And here's a list, which is in an incredibly tiny font, of many common statuses, but there are even more pieces of information that could be in that status field. So the first status you're gonna see is awaiting examination. Awaiting examination means you file the trademark application, and for the first three months, the trademark office doesn't do anything about it, and so it's just waiting for someone to get the file. Under examination, that's going to be the entire time that the trademark is being examined by a trademark examiner. So we're gonna have this symbol here with the little magnifying glass. Then during the process of examination, you may go into some other kind of subcategories of under examination. Those could be things like an office action has been issued. So the trademark office has told you they have, why they reject your application and you have six months typically to get back to them. It may also say that the review is complete, but they haven't actually taken the next step. And it could also state that you there is a notice of allowance, but you need to file the statement of use, which is what I already talked about earlier. Once you get past the under examination, and let's say it's going to be granted, then it's published for opposition and there are different statuses where you're waiting to be published, where that opposition is pending, and where it's actually been published for opposition. Once that happens, then you're going to be, have your trademark be registered. And there's a couple different statuses it can have. You can have it can be just be registered and have nothing going wrong, or it can be registered but then it got canceled. And typically that happens because someone didn't do a filing that was required to maintain their trademark. Another status is that it has been abandoned. So an application is not automatically granted by the trademark office. They examine it to determine if you should get the trademark. So it can be refused. And it could also just be abandoned because maybe you didn't respond to an office action. So it's something very important to remember is that they're going to send you an office action, they're gonna send you a response, and you have to actually respond to that on time within strict, strict deadlines. Sometimes there are ways to get an abandoned application back, but it's that also has a very strict deadline. So it is important to always be checking that status. So your tip today is that you need to set reminders or some kind of ticker to check your trademarks or trademarks of your competitors that you wanna see maybe it has expired, maybe it has been canceled, maybe it's been abandoned and you're gonna pounce on that because you wanna use it yourself. So put it in your calendar application, put it in your reminders, set, have your email set up so it'll email you in the future, any way to make sure that you don't miss anything. Also, you wanna make sure that your contact information is up to date on any trademark applications or registered trademarks. It's very common for a small business owner especially to have a new email address, to have You'd be using a different mailing address, especially if you use something like a PO box or a UPS store box, and you forget to update it with the Patent and Trademark Office. So when you're going in there to check, make sure all your contact information is up to date. So if you get an email from them or a postcard from them or some other communication, you actually receive it. Again, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you have any questions about the status of your trademark application or how to check it, feel free to go ahead and comment below. 
And if you found this video helpful, I'd love it for you to hit the like button. If you'd like more tips or information about trademarks or small business law generally, then please subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.